Hiccups are expected when implementing change. The commissioner was referring to concerns raised by members of the public on the heels of the proclamation of the cannabis law. One of the issues questions methods to be employed by members of the police service to determine accurately the quantity of marijuana a person has in their possession. Mr. Griffith told TTT News the police service is due to launch a series of public awareness campaigns regarding this and other matters surrounding the cannabis law. With, with, with anything with change, there, there would be hiccups. What I'm doing um, as the commissioner of police, um, the public um, would be made aware of very shortly. We are, push, we are pumping a massive public awareness campaign explaining to the public the do's and the don'ts. It is not a, a case that the, anyone could smoke what they want, how much they want, wherever they want. Uh, it is, that is not the case. The police commissioner said, however, that while marijuana has been decriminalized, members of the public are expected to use it responsibly. He also said the police will have to approach matters involving marijuana a bit differently for now. We, we have to use a degree of flexibility until it is we get it right. On Sunday, the police commissioner and his wife, Nicole Dyer Griffith, were on hand to witness the handover of the decorated St. Joseph police station. For the first time ever, police stations throughout the country have been decorated for the Christmas season. The commissioner said the initiative is geared towards creating a sense of pride within both the police service and communities across the country. They are saying that the police is the public, the public is the police. And by doing this, it bridges the gap between the public and the police service. The police service and these stations, it is part of the community. So by doing this now, it allows the community to interact much more with the police uh, officers in, the, in their respective divisions. Also present at the event was former Miss Universe, Wendy Fitzwilliam. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.